what's happening everybody welcome to a brand new episode of the games and grab podcast sunny g here with finn Steele. finn how are you doing hello i'm good thank you how are you i'm well thank you very much for asking good good, good can you start. believe we're back again with another podcast start the people that listen to this are going to be <laughs> keeling over i know right it's almost weekly almost almost weekly we'll get there we're yeah, getting it's there almost, it's like it's like every nine days <laughs> yeah yeah we'll, we'll get we'll get down to seven eventually yeah we'll get it definitely will yeah we'll we get, are getting there but this, getting is, there. this is definitely progress it absolutely is yeah much better my camera's off the center there we go um i can see you your hair's getting very long it is i'm gonna cut this weekend i think hopefully i've had uh i've had, had my uh my hair cut nice I'm very nice happy about it cool awesome it was super long before but now it's just uh it's it's a it's a real delight looking awesome Good stuff. I like the short. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Short back and sides. Nice. I need, you know, I needed the haircut so much. I don't think I've ever been so happy to get a haircut. <laughs> yeah, mine's getting a bit me- messy. I mean, I quite like the messy look, but I can keep it messy on top, but then cut the sides down so it's not so yeah. wide. <laughs> yeah, see, I was starting to like sweat on the back of my neck because my hair was so long at the back. Yeah. I was, just a, I was, a, I was a mess, Finn. <laughs> I was a sweaty mess. Yeah, my little feeling. Um, yeah, yeah my, my, I'm constantly flicking my hair out my eyes when I'm at work. Just constantly getting hair in my eyes. What is it so like a um, like a shampoo commercial? Pretty much, yeah. It's like take my hair back. Like oh. slow motion. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is, this is <laughs> L'Oreal with Finn Steel. Finn Steel. <laughs> yeah, that's why we'd have you on the advert. Like, <laughs> if you sit around and play video games all day like me, your hair gets really sweaty <laughs> and greasy. It does. It's a Thanks. joke. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like straighten my hair to so go back to my, like my my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like ah. And like you uh, you flick it back and it's just like all the uh, just the, the shampoo and <laughs> shit just comes flying off. <laughs> yeah. Much better. That'd be a great advert. They, they should use should... real people like us on their adverts. They really should. We're available. Because L'Oreal like, gets a call. Yeah, yeah, call for us. sure. I mean, L'Oreal, if you were uh, watching this, because obviously you are. Of course, why wouldn't you be? Everyone watches it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, the most popular podcast on the internet, probably. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, you know, just call us up. You know, you don't have to have these like not real people on your. Yeah, you fake. He wants. He wants. I need supermodels on the on the telly. Yeah. He wants to look at them. He wants to look at real people. I guess. If you want regular guys to buy your shampoo, <laughs> and then you could be like, "Oh, I can relate to this." Yeah. And then you know we are there or you know Finn because he's got longer hair at the minute I've got short hair so you know there's money to be made there L'Oreal there's money on the table yes we're worth it is yeah. that still their slogan or is that someone else I, I, I have no idea to be perfectly honest I can't remember uh, the last time I actually saw a, a shampoo advert yeah I don't watch TV much anymore so yeah, I, yeah see I, don't, I don't really pay attention to, to adverts so not yeah. like you know recently at least yeah that makes me out to be like some sort of advert connoisseur I'm not <laughs> Oh, I've not been paying attention to adverts recently. Mm. Oh, I know all the adverts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like not like the adverts. Oh man! Back in so um, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about this week, to be honest. But probably we'll talk about extreme rules. Hmm. Extreme rules. The horror show. The horror up. show. Extreme rules. The horror show. Yeah. So that's uh, that's coming. Oh yeah, the horror show at extreme rules. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you know, I completely forgot. It's not, <laughs> it's not like WWE give you an opportunity to forget either. Yeah. It's a horror show. At extreme rules. Extreme Rules yeah. Horror Show, starring Extreme Rules. I, I always worry when I hear like the wrestlers cut a promo <laughs> and they don't say the horror show part. They just say Extreme Rules. I think, you're going to get told off. Yeah, Vincent's raging You get the backstage. Back. Right, I didn't say horror Vince show. Gonna... How's everyone going to know it's a horror show? No, I didn't say horror show. Yeah. Vince, Vince is going gonna... to spit coronavirus right in your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah Raven Stu's going to get his eye torn out with CG or some bollocks. Um, I really hope it happens because... <laughs> It just sounds so ridiculously stupid. It does. Let's be like Mortal Kombat. You whip the eyeball out and squash it in his hand. Or cinematic. Yeah. It's the kind of <laughs> ludicrous Fatality. nonsense that, you know, wrestling should be. Yes. And uh, also shouldn't be at the same time. <laughs> but we'll talk about that in a little while. Finn, yeah. what have you been playing this week? Uh, well, indeed. So I finally jumped on uh, Horizon Zero Dawn for the PS4. Yeah. Took me long Congratulations, enough. Congratulations, finally. I Thank mean, you. how long has it been? Uh, when did it come out? 2016, 17? That long, how long it's been yeah. since it came out? Because okay, was... well, a long time, long, yeah. long enough. Yeah, because I'm one of these people who, or used to be one of these people who bought the games day one and just didn't play them. 
I just had them on my shelf or whatever. Don't give me that crap of used to be. <laughs> I don't. Well, I haven't bought in like a new game. You've got Ghost of Tsushima on your PlayStation right now, and you know full well <laughs> that it's not going to get played for that's, for ages. That's from your account. I didn't pay for it. God. <laughs> oh, I know, but you're still not going to play it. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's just going to be there. It's it's similar on, P- on PS4 along with Last of Us Part Two and SpongeBob. I probably don't play SpongeBob first, to be fair. Because as, as we all yeah, know, that's it, a yeah. true. I mean, it's only like ten hours or something. Yeah, I mean that's a true uh, game of a generation right there, SpongeBob. That's yeah, definitely. Yeah, called. definitely. <laughs> um, um, so tell me what you think about Horizon. Obviously, you you haven't played it before. Um, I want to hear what you think about it from your uh, you know gaming expert perspective it's all right i guess <laughs> but, but no it's good uh, it's a bit overwhelming because the map is so huge and there's so much to take in like simply just throws every mechanic at you all at once it's like oh uh, okay mm-hmm. so we've got traps we've got this we've got that um but i'm trying to learn it a bit better now uh trying to explore the map more um and yeah i'm liking it i'm liking yeah, it i'm enjoying it I'm like, i mean it's huge some, some of the stuff that it you know throws in front of you you don't have to use i can't remember mm. using the trap gun once to be honest because yeah. it just didn't suit how i play it yeah i don't actually use a trap yet i've got they keep giving me traps i like i leave them in my inventory just like i've been there just in case but for now it's going to shoot things with my yeah. bow um uh, yeah that that, that that to me was the easiest way to get through the game that and sort of melee well i was i yeah. thought the melee combat was pretty cool yeah yeah a lot of stealth involved as well which is good you learn the skill yeah. early on like can like, stealth kill things with your stick stick yeah <laughs> stick right. what it's called the uh, spear but it's a it's a beautiful looking game right yeah it's super pretty yep yeah. got hdr enabled it looks really cool um, yeah it looks great i watched installed the frozen wilds so it's got like the extra bit of map up there with extra bits and pieces extra skills to unlock and things so i mean i haven't played the frozen wilds so is it is it tacked onto the main story or do you have to get get to it through the menu um, so it's after I think it pretty much just adds a new area to the map, so you've got like an extra bit to explore. Um, oh, I don't yeah. know 100% because okay. I haven't gotten all that far into it yet. But um, yeah, it also gives you some new skills you can unlock. Um, I think it raises the level cap to 60 as well. Um, nice. Well, you've got many, many hours to go. <laughs> yeah, I've got a long way to go yet. But it's 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 really fantastic. Mm. It really is. Like it's just it's a great story with great characters and. You know, the whole game is beautiful to look at, all the different environments that you get to go to. And, um, you know, the robot dinosaurs just, you know, continue to be impressive all the way throughout the game as well. It's um, it's it's just brilliant. And I'm glad that you're finally getting around to play it. I know yeah. it's taken you long enough, but uh, I am glad that you finally got there. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yes, I am. I can playing it more. Good. What else have you been playing? Uh, also getting through uh, Astral Chain. Oh, still okay, yeah, you're still excellent. playing that. Yeah, we've got back to that now. Um, it's a lot of fun, still. I think I'm almost to the win now, I think. Getting there. Um, yeah, I'm still really enjoying it. I bought Deadly Prime Edition 2. Even though I said I'm not buying games new anymore, I had to get that, let's face it. Um, it's impressive that you've, uh, you know, contradicted yourself. <laughs> it's that one game, just one. Like, so early in the podcast as well. And I am going to play it as soon as I'm done with Astral Chain. It's going to be my next Switch game uh, I play. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I, yeah, be... I saw that. I saw that it was out now, um, and I thought you'd probably be on it. Yeah, it seems to be more the same, more quirky weirdness. Uh, still pretty janky, but still has that like charm to it that people love. How far away off um, finishing Astral Change do you think you are? Um, probably just to get them at the end of the week, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just blast it. I'll probably a bit of Horizon to the, side, to the side for a little bit. Just blast it Astral Chain, and then go back to Horizon and Deadly Yeah, the thing is with the Switch, you can have the garbage wrestling on in the background. True, <laughs> and still play the Switch. Very true. It makes makes the uh, the wrestling that at times can be pretty terrible, um, you know, just like a little bit more bearable. A little bit, yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a weird week in wrestling. Also, a good Sorry? week. Oh, it's been a weird week in wrestling, but also a good week in some aspects. Like yeah, the... it's. I don't know. Uh, I'm. I, I sort of fall in in and out of love with it at the minute. Yeah, it's weird because once SmackDown, like one week it'll be really, really cool and amazing, and then next week it'll just be hot garbage like this week. Um, mm. NXT was good, though. It's a great America Mash. Yeah, Very NXT cool. was really good. The main event was great. Yeah, but, yeah awesome. we'll talk about that in a little while. We'll yeah, save good. that. We'll save it. Come on, Finn, you know how this podcast works <laughs> after all this time. I know. Try to mix it up. You trying to mix it up? Mixing it up. <laughs> As I Dawkins, mixing it up. Does he still do that? I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does every now and then. He breaks it out. Does anything and stuff. Yeah. 
I remember like before when uh, Angelo Dawkins like first came on the scene in NXT, I was like, this guy has no future. <laughs> yeah. I probably even said it on this podcast. Maybe. Um, but yeah, he, just, he didn't really have a gimmick. He's just like bad guy. He mixes stuff. Yeah, he's got his pestling, he's got his pestling mortar. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't really um, just mixing stuff. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have any like like a unique move set or anything. He's just kind of just kind of there, just another guy who's there. But yeah. uh, yep, you found the tag team partner now, and it's doing well. I'm pleased, pleased with. Him. Yeah, that's that's a pretty pretty good description on how Angelo Dawkins is doing. Yeah, yeah, pretty well, pretty damn well. Tag yeah, team champion, pretty good. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like him. He's good. He's tons of charisma. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes it just takes that, you know, little bit of you know direction change to really get somebody going. Definitely. How long was you there for in NXT? Feels like forever. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Um. When did NXT? When did WWE Network come out? Oh god, like a million years ago. Feels like. Yeah. Who knows? I think it was probably like the a year or so after that. Yeah, that sounds about right. When, I, when, I first like when started, he made his TV debut, I think he was probably around before then. Hmm. I think it was there when I first started watching NXT, when I both Dallas were champion. Um, yeah. God, a long time ago. Is Bo Dallas still employed? I think so. He is, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. For now. <laughs> <laughs> probably want to keep his big brother sweet. Yeah, true, yeah, true. Mm, Husky mm. Harris. <laughs> God, Husky. The Ferrari tank with a wait. The tank with a Ferrari engine. What's that? It? Is that? Yeah, that does sound about right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be weird if it was the other way around. <laughs> the Ferrari with the a Ferrari tank engine. With a tank engine. <laughs> yeah. That's all they had for him as well. It's like you're you're a big guy. You you move fast. The tank Ferrari. There you go. Go. Yeah. Good thing. We're calling you fat and fast at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But that's good stuff. <laughs> Fatast. <laughs> Husky Fatast. Don't give him ideas. Harris. I'll change his name to that. Fatast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Don't do it, Vince. Um, is that it for your uh, gaming exploits this week? Uh, I think so. Yeah, pretty much it. More Mario Maker, yeah. which is always in the background. Jump on that every now and again just to get my play some multiplayer. It's Are fun. you jumping on Paper Mario this week? Um, not straight away. I will get there eventually. Probably yeah. also Deadly Premonition. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to play that. It's really cool. Yeah, looks good. Cool. How about you? What have you been playing? Um, so I finished <clears throat> The Last of Us Part 2. Nice. Uh, and it was excellent, you know, as expected. It was long. Yeah. But it was... I felt like it was never going to end. But uh, I felt the same way about it that I felt with Uncharted 4. Oh, yeah. I felt like maybe it was... A, maybe an hour or two too long. Like okay. I think there was a couple of bits that maybe could have... Um, chopped out of there and the game would have still made complete sense hmm. but you know it was phenomenal all the way through beautiful game great story great characters um and it's easily one of the best games of of this generation oh yeah easily yeah I think um, but it was, it was phenomenal so i mean it's, it's all right me sitting here moaning about runtime um but that's only because i felt a couple of scenes dragged maybe a little bit yeah that's fair that's fair because, but yeah, I, again, I felt the same about Uncharted Four. I felt like um, they they just made it longer for the sake of making it longer. Whereas like Uncharted One, Two, and Three, they weren't really all that long. Yeah, true. Yeah, but um, like it's almost like they feel like they have to make it longer, but they don't keep people's attention. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I do. What you mean? I'm not. I, I don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about either of those games because they're no. both fantastic. But it, I just uh, um, I feel with. Yeah, because The Last of Us One didn't outstay its welcome at True. all. I mean, it was it was just awesome all the way through. It's spot on. Yeah, same with the first three Uncharted games, and then four and The Last of Us Part Two. They're just a little bit longer than I think they probably needed to be. That's, That's fair. All. That's fair. Um, yeah, I quite like longer games because it keeps your attention, but for you know longer. But then I've got mm. more you know free time. I don't do anything. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. No, it's good. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to playing it eventually. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was just, it was really superb. Um, and I mean, I don't think I'll play it again. That's not because I thought it was bad. I just don't think I can put myself through it again. <laughs> it's emotionally... Because it was, uh, it was emotionally draining. Yeah, that's what Chris said in Discord as well. Um, yeah, uh, know, it not... really, and it really is. It's not just you know an exaggeration. When you're so into video games, I mean, some people don't get it. 
But when you when you are so into video games, you know, you do, you know, you treat it the same way that people treat their favorite TV series. Like they get so invested in the characters and mm. uh, and that sort of thing. And it is exactly the same with video games. Yeah, I agree. Like when you like when you finish this long like TV series, you feel when you and so over, you feel like a little, a little empty because like now I'm now what am I going to do with my life? <laughs> now this is all over. Um, yeah, that's it. You're right. And then like sort of when I saw the credits run on. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two, you know, I sort of like, oh, you know, I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, I'm, uh, and now I don't know what to do next. Yeah, it's like I'm going to miss these characters I spent so much time with. Um, yeah, yeah. But no, but I mean, I would imagine cool. that we, we, you know, we'll get a third game. It'd be interesting to see, um, uh, you know, who it is and mm. you know where the direction that it goes, but. Um, I expect we'll get a third game. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's um, yeah, it, it's just it's one of those games that uh, you know will define a generation, much like The Last of Us did for the you know the PlayStation Three and the back end of that. Yeah, absolutely. Good so, stuff. Uh, since since I finished The Last of Us, basically I've been, I've been in a bit of limbo. Okay, you played Limbo. That's a good um, game. sorry, <laughs> you played Limbo. That's a good game. Yeah, it's a really good game. You know, I have played Limbo actually. It's, really that it is a good game. You're right. <laughs> um, so I've been playing. I've been trying to get through Marvel Ultimate Alliance three because it's been on my Switch just forever. Yeah, uh, and I'm getting through it. Good, good. Um, I think I've probably got like four chapters left or something. So I'm going to try and uh, bash that out before Ghost of Tsushima comes out this mm, week. Nice. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it. It's it, you know it's so simple. You don't even have to think about the game. You just it's literally. Um, uh, you know just a couple of buttons uh story is the same as all the marvel movies collect the infinity stones defeat the bad guys be hero heroic i guess yeah, yeah but you know it's nice to have one of those games after you have been emotionally broken <laughs> by the last of us it's nice to have a game that you don't really have to think about and yeah, so um, flash buttons and- yeah, flash that, that is exactly yeah, yeah, what I've got yeah. with Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and uh, it, it yeah, it's just a good game. It's as good as the other two, if not better. Cool. It's just um, yeah, just mindless. It's really simple. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, but that's all I've really been playing. I've not really uh, been um, putting any significant amount of time into anything else other than that. Fair play. Good stuff. Yeah, but I'm, I'm super excited for Ghost of Tsushima this week. I mean, it it looks fantastic. The new uh, the launch, then there's like a launch trailer that came out today. Mm. Very and pretty. I've watched so couple- pretty. Oh yeah, it looks so pretty. And I watched a couple of videos as well. Um, that's how hi- that's how that's how I know I'm hyped for a game. Except watching videos and things on the trailers. Yeah, because I don't do that. Yeah. Like I'm like oh you know I'm, I'm I know it looks good I'll just wait <laughs> but because I'm hyped for it I'm like oh, you know I want to see it and I want to see it now because I've still got to wait all week to play it. Yeah, it's also just like air of mystery about it because you don't really know a whole lot about it. You know, sort out mm. combat works, but still, like I, they, I at least um, don't know what completely. Oh, no, I'm about. with you, 100. percent Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So okay. it, it is, it is. It's like it's like a mysterious AAA game that they're just bringing out, and you know what the premise is. You're a samurai, and you have a sword, <laughs> and the grass people. is long. Yeah, it's stealth. Mm. The, the Japanese council haven't been out to cut the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got yeah. to, got to complain to the council. Give him a call. Yeah, I hope the guy, you know, who you play as isn't paying the council tax because he's not getting any services. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> it's like to be him. Not getting his bin collected. Yeah. Might be. Oh, if the grass ain't being cut, the bins ain't getting collected. That's fair, that's fair. They probably just throw in their waste in the stream. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, good times. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so... You see my squeaky Ubisoft... chair, by the way. Super squeaky at the minute. I don't know why. What's that? Sorry. It's just my squeaky chair, by the way. I'm probably picking up on the mic, but uh, it's super loud at the minute. Oh no, my, my chair's quite squeaky as well, actually, which is yeah. weird. <laughs> but I sit on mine every day for work, pretty much. Fair. Because I like working from home and stuff. Jealous. Don't be. <laughs> isn't it's it? Not, not good. It really isn't all it's cracked up to be. It's uh. fine, but it's um, it's not like the world's most exciting thing. You can't have your switch on switch on your next desk next to you and just kind of cheekily play that while you tend to work. Um, if anybody. Uh, from work listens to this podcast no definitely not um <laughs> but if they don't yes absolutely 100 percent. oh cool that's all right worth yeah. it <laughs> <Good stuff>. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay so ubisoft held their 
uh, one of their press conferences yesterday, apparently there's going to be a few of these, like Nintendo Direct and Ooh. whatever the PlayStation one's called and whatever the Xbox one is called. Um, cool. And to be honest, nothing really out of the ordinary was announced. Yeah, pretty much everything got leaked beforehand because Ubisoft. Ubisoft, yeah. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever works for Ubisoft, right, they've got the leakiest, like, staff of all time. They do. It's like... <laughs> This, yeah, it's just someone just points it like, here's, here it is, look, just whatever, enjoy. I can't yeah, be just a to bunch wait. of French people running around leaking <laughs> their, their games and posters and shit. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, but, so, Watch Dogs Legion looks good. Mm, it does. You can control anyone, get their unique abilities. Mm. Um, yeah, hacking, and it's good. I think it sounds more complicated than it's actually going to be. Yeah, I was talking gameplay a bit. It's like as soon as, as soon as like the Ubisoft thing ended, like like a hundred videos online on gameplay, which is like what you people called it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Um, yeah, sort of sort of late too because of course it's someone shop Definitely play two. It, it is really good. <laughs> yeah, it looks fun. It's it's a lot less serious than the first one. Good. <laughs> uh, but the new one, you know what? It looks really good. I've, you know, there's been a lot of. Um, people sort of speculating over the last couple of weeks that you know it was going to be well that it wasn't going to be very good mm. i'm not sure what that was founded on yeah, it's, yeah but it was just know. sort of the general chatter about it made it seem like that this was going to be uh maybe a, a bad game and uh, a game that's uh, a cheaper game which also indicates that it's not what you expect that it's going to be yeah uh, there's a few different things being said yeah, I think it's because as well, like there's such a long time between it getting announced and hearing anything about it. Like maybe they've yeah. had some trouble with it, and I think there's a thing about it being online, maybe always online. What's that's true or not? But uh, it doesn't look like it to me. Yeah. It just looks like. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm sure there's an option for online, but it didn't look to me like it was uh, a game that's always online. Yeah, it looked to me like um, you've just got cause it. Yeah, because it didn't show me that you you had to do it multiplayer. <laughs> to have all these different sort of people. No, no. You know, um, yeah, I think it looked like it was all just sort of, um, you know, done in single player and you can recruit whoever you want in the game. Yeah. There has to be a limit to that, right? Um, I don't know, really. I, I, I'd imagine it's that it would just like give like random people just random um, like abilities. It won't all be unique people, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a really cool idea. I like it a lot. Like you just yeah. build up like an army. London of looks great as well. Mm, it's really good. I like you can drive on the left side of the road for once in the game. Yeah, that's yeah. my main thing. It's like, oh, you're actually driving on the correct side of the road. Oh my god! Finally, I know. I never do but that. It, you know, it, it looks it looks great the way they've done it, and I'm 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 excited for that one. Um, I like Watch Dogs anyway, and I like Watch Dogs too. So um, they've definitely took it in a different direction, which is um, brave. Yeah. But yeah, I think they needed to do something to mix it up because if they just had the second game again, it would just be a bit, a bit boring because like, we've seen it already before. I agree. So yeah, got that extra set. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually coming out this year, October the 29th. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, which is right before next gen. It is confirmed mm. that, you know, you will get the free upgrade on both PS5 and the Xbox Series X. That's cool. Good stuff. Um, to be honest, I, I think the Xbox... Probably and the PlayStation. I think the Xbox and the PlayStation will be a week apart, like last time. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and I think the Xbox will come first. Yeah, I mean, when it's only a week apart, it's only make a huge difference, is it? But yeah, I mean, that's what it was last time. The Xbox came out first, and the PlayStation came out uh, the week after. Weird. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. Look, it'd be it. ridiculous if they brought them out on the same day. <laughs> no, it's gonna be good. I hopefully you both get to play the second one before that comes out. Hmm. Oh yeah, de- definitely try and look at it. Yeah. But here it is. Are you watching on YouTube? Here it is. What did I say? Yeah, there it is. Mm. Was the last one on YouTube, by the way, or did you forget? Um, yeah, I think it was on there. Can't remember. I'll have a look. It was not on there now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get watched on YouTube. Stuff. We are. If anything, we're consistent. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody watches on YouTube. It's fine. Not yet, anyway. We'll get there. No. Yes. I'm it to, will definitely get better. Of course yeah. it will. I think it's a rebuild our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Like, put, like, good content out. Yeah, instead <laughs> of rubbish content, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make it more podcast-focused. Instead of like, putting, like, random game clips and random other stuff on there, it's going to be all podcast stuff. Focus on the podcast yeah, so rather than trying to focus on seven different things at once. 
Mm. Because that's what we said, wasn't it, the other day when uh, we were sort of talking over over text and we were sort of saying that to focus on the podcast more because that's, you know, what we started as. That's what we're, uh, that's easily our most popular content apart from that uh, toy game that you played that time. (laughs) For some reason, it's still getting views on YouTube. I think it's because I'm the only person who reviewed it. (laughs) There's people looking at it, it's like, oh, like, People who are interested in it are just like Googling it and seeing me on there. It was a good review. Like four years ago. <laughs> it was. But then Steam sales, like, it's constantly coming down in price. And people's like, oh, what's this game here for 50p? Oh, I'll check it out. Mm. <laughs> it's a good game. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to focus on the podcast more going forward as opposed to anything else. I mean, we'll try and, um, you know, what? We, yeah, we, we feel like that's the best thing to do. Yeah. Definitely. And it's, it's, it is easily the best thing we do as well. Yeah. I enjoy it. People seem to enjoy it. So, yeah, more, yeah. more, more good stuff. People enjoy, pretty much. Um, do we have sound effects this week, by the way? Oh, shoot, got anything? Well, hold on. Uh, I feel like that's a, it's a it's a full on feature of our podcast now. It is, and I keep bloody forgetting to add more. Um, uh, yeah, here we go. So, uh, that, that one. Yeah. <laughs> also Excellent. this. Hey up. Hey up. <laughs> they're still there <laughs> we've got to keep it forever we do awesome. we do it's the best yeah oh it was just it's just amazing <laughs> it's so good I still can't get to be honest I'm still not over it you can't get over this hey up care to attempt a high score bloke bloke no, <laughs> I, no I, can't, bloke at the end. I can't get over it it's just amazing <laughs> yeah, so good it's just so good yeah. I love it I wonder if that would be in uh, Watch Dogs it's set in London There's some guy there being, I hope so hey up bloke <laughs> we'll do some hacking yeah. Yeah, Ubisoft are going to ring up Activision and be like, excuse me, um, <laughs> would it be okay if we had the high score bloke voiceover from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4? <laughs> yeah. Want to do some hacking? Let's go, bloke. Hey, old bloke. <laughs> Want to hack this security camera? <laughs> or something like that. Uh, so good. So good. So good. Um, you know what? This has been a weird podcast so far. We like, I forgot even what we were talking about before we started talking about the podcast being our main focus. Uh, Ubisoft stuff. Watch Dogs. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Far Cry. Six? Yeah. Um, So, yeah, Watch Dogs. uh, They showed some other stuff. Uh, stuff. Like in between. Like some mobile games. Stop using Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell (laughs) as a character in shit games that no one plays. Just Just make a new Splinter Cell. Yeah, to give us that. That's what everyone wants. Sam Fisher, give us him in an yeah. actual game. Yeah, just give us a new Splinter Cell. Why is it so difficult? Mm. Give us what we want. Oh. It must be so. It must be difficult. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? No, I've got yeah. to crank out another Assassin's Creed and Far Cry and uh, Ghost Recon and <laughs> whatever else the crew and other games. I can't believe they're still supporting the crew. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, and steep. Yeah, yeah, that you know that I'm really surprised about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I own it, but you know, I you know, it's hard. I can't <laughs> believe people are still playing it. Yeah, that's, that's, there's so many games Ubisoft have got going on for Honor as well. They're still going. It's a great, great game. Oh, good, it's good to, you know, it's great that they support these games, but Jesus. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um. So yeah, the show's Assassin's Creed. What did you think to it? Um, yeah, it was like the last couple of games. Um, I haven't played either, either of them yet. Maybe I will <laughs> at some point. Right. I know you won't. Yeah, probably not. Uh, but you know, I like the original Assassin's Creed games. Um, two especially. Two and them. Um, two and what was the other one? Syndicate? London? Brotherhood? Yeah, all, all, the, all the Ezio games. And, you know, yeah, the Ezio games. They're the best. Yeah, they? yeah. I like them a lot. Um, it's something I do want to get back into, but there's so many now. <laughs> it all looks all looks very similar like Origins Odyssey and now this all look very kind of the same gameplay wise yeah this one looks a bit too much for me I mean I played I played um, Odyssey and Origins and mm. they, they, they are very similar to, to one another just different settings basically uh, but Valhalla it you know looks a bit much you know you can like build a like a, like a settlement and all this sort of stuff, and it just looks. I feel like they're maybe getting away from what the point of Assassin's Creed was originally. Definitely, it's only crammed too many things into it all at once. It's like, they're try- yeah, they're trying to overcomplicate it, and it doesn't need to. I mean, and yeah, all right, they needed maybe 
a break from the norm when they were churning out an Assassin's Creed game every year. But that's mm. their fault. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd much rather have like a classic Ezio style Assassin's Creed game than open world Collector Tom twenty seven. Yes, me too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I would much rather that. Jump off a, uh, you know, a massive church into a pile of hay and not break your back <laughs> yeah. and be Just absolutely out, fine, you know? Quickly your behind your hair. This is... Yeah. Love Just, it. you know, the, the story, you, you could go to, you know, any part of time, you know, as, as part of the story in some capacity. But yeah, I think now the games are they're getting a bit too much. A little bit. T- too big. Too much to do. But overwhelming. But in yes, way. exactly that. Overwhelming is the exactly the right way to describe it for sure yeah um so also the worst kept secret in video games <laughs> oh yeah um yeah far cry mm, far cry six. who saw that come in right i know right um yeah i love far cry far cry 3 was awesome uh four i platinum i think which is really good was it four mm. i think so uh didn't play five five's really good yeah and there was what then the other one that came out well, yeah, so it was, it was like a spin-off of five. All right. Uh, New Dawn. That sounds right. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, beautiful colours in that game. Mm. Like really, really nice to look at. Good game. Cool. Um, but you know, uh, this one looks good. It's got one of the bad guys from Breaking Bad, which is a show that I haven't watched. Um, you haven't watched, TV, the main... you haven't watched Breaking Bad. Even I've watched Breaking Bad. And I don't watch TV. You've watched Breaking Bad? Yeah. The one of the is best. that because you cook meth? Yeah. I mean, what? No. <laughs> it's because it's a really good TV show. I thought everyone yeah, was Breaking Bad. I'm sure it's good, but I'm not going to watch it. Ah, you suck. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should watch it. Just because you're a meth head. I didn't, 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 you don't like yeah. a meth head, actually. Thanks. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, well, I am. So. Oh, yeah, it. well, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah. on the internet. Yeah, he's not, he's not. I don't do don't drugs. think that... Finn's a method. I'm not. Or am I? Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Um, yeah, so the uh, bad guy from Breaking Bad is the bad guy in Far Cry. Cool. Um, I do, You know, the, the, the video that they showed yesterday was great. Looked cool. Yep. Um, and it'll be Far Cry in a different setting. Pretty much. Yep. That's all you need, really. To know. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> Pretty much. I've got a little, yeah. little Baz. Oh, we're on my desk here. From Far Cry 3. Look at him. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Great game. Very cool game. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Ubisoft really didn't show us anything that we weren't expecting. Uh, no. We've seen it all on Twitter. Yeah. We knew it was coming like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, not really any gaming news this week. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're probably just about a week away now from... Um, Xbox's game showcase that that's next week at some point. Yeah, there was a rumor going around that the PS5 price is going to get put out today, but that hasn't happened. So, wasn't it half like around half eight tonight or something? Oh, was it? Hmm, could still happen. Keep it could still happen. I mean, what what are you saying? What do you think it's going to be? Um, pff, I don't know, man. <laughs> put around five hundred pounds. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think that's probably the. You know the, the the figure that I would go with. I think um, the Xbox will be sort of for four four fifty. Yeah, maybe four fifty for the digital, and then five hundred for the uh, physical version. You think it's only fifty pound difference? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know either. Yeah, we'll see. It's all complete guesswork. But either way, we're going to end up with it anyway. So yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, Here's something cool, actually. Donkey Kong Country and uh, Natsumi Championship Wrestling are coming to Nintendo Switch Online this week. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Awesome. That's cool. Donkey Kong Country is a great game. Yeah. I, the, uh, I didn't play it. It came out. I played the Game Boy versions, which is like Donkey Kong Land, which are uh, same sort of thing, but really, really good. Well, you never played Donkey Kong Country? Uh, no. Oh, man. you got to play it. It's good. I will. I'll play it. I played, I played, I think I played something, something similar. I can't remember what. I, I, yeah, I must be the game. I must be thinking of the Game Boy version. Don't you have, have the one on the Switch? Um, which one's that? Is it like something to do with snow? No idea. Donkey Kong <laughs> Arctic something. Arctic Blast. Um, uh, I don't think I that do. That sounds right. Yeah, I, I think I played it on the Wii U. Yeah, I think, I think I brought it over to Switch. I think it was on Wii U originally. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Yeah, yeah, I played that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking of. It's the newer, newer versions, which are like your versions. Yeah, I it's think. not the same. No, that's Donkey Kong Country is awesome. You'll, you, 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 you'd enjoy it. Yeah, I will. Uh, and uh, Natsumi Championship Wrestling is really good as well. Cool. Is that a Japanese only one originally? Uh, no, it came out here, I oh, believe. Okay. Uh, but it was originally like an all Japan pro wrestling game, but then it turned uh... out to not be all Japan after, in the end. Right. Okay. Um, but it's really good. Um, you know, it's like most 16-bit wrestling games. Works sort of like Fire Pro. Timing is key. Cool. And that sort of stuff. But it's a good game. Awesome. Definitely, it's definitely worth the look. It's coming to Nintendo Switch Online for zero pounds, zero pence, unless you pay, well, okay. you know, your monthly fee or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Pittance, really. £3.50 or something. Yeah. I keep throwing, like, like months for free as well. I think I'm good to, like, 2022 at this point because it keeps sending me free. <laughs> like... Yeah, I got, I, got, I got loads off Twitch Prime. Yeah. But it's cool. Yeah, it's good. Good thanks service. Nintendo. Yeah, thanks very thumbs much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, but there's not much else in the way of gaming news, I don't think, this week. I don't think so. It's probably about it. Just yeah. Soft and stuff. Um, all right. So, um, Extreme Rules is this Sunday, then? It is. I'll show Extreme Rules. The horror, sorry, of course. of course. I'm going to get told off and get coronavirus from Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah. I'll show Extreme Rules. The horror show at Extreme Rules. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's it's coming Sunday. Yeah, originally it was called Extreme Rules, The Horror Show. But now they switch it around, so now it's The Horror Show at Extreme Rules. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's been just having this one of these episodes again. <laughs> Can't make up his mind. Yeah, I, 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 God, you know what? It's just... I just don't get WWE at the minute. Like you said earlier on, some weeks it's good. Some weeks it's desperately bad. You know, the last couple of weeks have been largely forgettable. Yeah. Um, I'm enjoying the work of, you know, a few superstars. Yeah, I'm enjoying Shasha and Bailey at the minute. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah I am too. Very cool. Uh, Cesaro yep. and Sheamus are really good. Sheamus? Uh, Cesaro and uh, Sinsuke are really good this week against a new day. Um, yeah. Which is awesome. I'd like to see them on, on top and doing things instead of being stuck in the back. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, um, I'm enjoying um, like Andrade and Angel Gaza. Mm-hmm. Austin and Theory Drew McIntyre is obviously great. Hmm. Is Austin Theory still around? Or is he, like, oh, to be honest, it? I think he's probably got coronavirus. Wouldn't surprise me. Because he, you know, he sort of vanished after it all came out that people had tested positive for it. Yeah. So I think he's one of them. They've just not released. They've just not released properly, like names properly. It's true. It's probably it. You're not wrong. So it wouldn't surprise me if uh, Austin Theory does have uh, coronavirus. Yeah. Shame. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. Well, <laughs> I enjoy Seth Rollins' new faction. I don't enjoy the Rey Mysterio eye for eye weirdness. No, it's weird. And I, I hope that the horror show with Extreme Rules is the last of it. Mm. Um, I can't wait to see whose eye gets CGI'd. <laughs> I think out. It, I think it'll be Ray. I think Ray's supposed to be like quote unquote retiring soon. Well, from what um, what from what I'm reading, he is wrestling without a contract at the minute. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like his his contract has run out and he's wrestling freelance. Right. Weird. Yeah, I knew it was up yeah. or coming up. Uh, from what I've but from what I've read on the internet the last few days, he's wrestling for you know, without a contract. Hmm. Weird. Maybe they'll show up the next day on AEW with like an eye patch. Who yeah, knows? I hope he's like <laughs> turns upon AEW with his eyes still hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's got uh, some of them glasses, you know, like with um with like the spring that comes out <laughs> <in> the <laughs> yeah. eye. This is... Yeah, I hope yeah. it's like that. That'd be great. <laughs> I'd love that. Me too. <laughs> uh. Again, it would just truly be befitting of how bonkers wrestling really is. Yeah. Bonkers. Yeah. So how many matches do we have on Extreme Rules? Um, right now, there are three, six. One of them is probably a pre-show match. Three, six? Uh, six. I was counting. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was say 36. Jesus 36 Christ. matches. <laughs> the longest pay-per-view of all time. Oh, God. Imagine. <laughs> no. I don't think I'd watch it if it was 36 matches. <laughs> no, you have to watch it in parts. Yeah, I'd like have to watch like it over the space of months. an entire year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh. Right, so uh, let's go through the matches, and you know, if we feel like we need to, we'll chip in with uh, our thoughts on what's happened with those matches on Raw and SmackDown. Sounds good. Right, so the first match on here, which might be a pre-show match, is uh, Apollo Crews versus MVP for the US title. I don't think it'll be a pre-show match. No? I think it'll be a main carder. Interesting. Okay. 
Um, so obviously, the, the, you know, there's a new United States Championship belt now. What do you think of it? Uh, I like it. I like it too. Yeah, I don't like it as much as like the Intercontinental title or, you know, things like that. But I do like it. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. I think it needed a change. I mean, that other one's been around for ages now. Yeah, it definitely needed a change. But, yeah, uh, I yeah, agree. It's good. Um, I don't see MVP winning this. I'd be very surprised if he did. I think um, it's, you know, it's the best thing to do is to keep Apollo's momentum going because mm. he's, you know, he's having the best run of his entire main roster career so far yeah, at the minute. So I'd like to see that carry on. Yeah, me too. Um, it's weird as MVP fighting for it and not Lashley, but then maybe they're having the same Lashley for when he does eventually lose it. Lose yes, it I think so. Yeah, I mean, at this point, no one cares if MVP loses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But if Lashley was to continually lose, then that would look really bad on Lashley, and yeah. it would just make him look shit and weak. When they clearly want to go in the opposite direction with that and make him look uh, big, strong like Wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which he should be because you know he deserves some sort of. He's big, strong, like wood. Yeah, he's, yeah. But yeah, I want to see Lashley versus Lesnar at some point. Everyone wants it. I don't think one of them get it. <laughs> you don't, don't think so? No, I want it. I know. It I'm not be, even sure but, what the status of Lesnar is. Yeah, I know it won't be a great match. What just two big men going at it? You know. Is that <laughs> so what you like? Just, is it? Yeah, two big men going at it. See, that's what yeah. you need. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's just such a shit choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know what I mean. Wrestling. That's, that's pretty much what no, wrestling yeah, is. That's exactly, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't think you meant anything else. <laughs> no, of course not. What else? Did no, I mean? no, definitely not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Apollo's going to win this, isn't he? Oh, yeah, Apollo's going to win, I think, yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, then we have, um, it's a brandy low down on a card. Whether we're in this order or not, I don't know. Um, but we have Rey Mysterio versus Seth Rollins in this I for an I match. Um, I don't know. I, I I mean, yes, it makes sense for Rey Mysterio to lose, but, you know, if surely everybody wants to see Seth Rollins get his eye gouged out. Uh, yeah, I don't think he'll... I think Seth will win, though. As you said, like, Rey's not on contract anymore. He's probably going to be going away soon, at least like, on the break for a while. Mm. Um, How do you think they do it? I'm, I'm so curious. <sighs> Do you think like one just reaches in the other one's face and just pulls his eye clean out? <laughs> like I'm honestly thinking about it, I have no idea how it's gonna work. Like a bit of broken glass or something, yeah. <laughs> just like scrape the eye out. Ew. <laughs> Which I, is disgusting, actually. I'm sorry yeah, for that. I've uh, I have no idea. A straw, it's so just weird. suck it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it punch him so hard, his eyes just pull eyes out. I was, I was yeah, it's like a slap to the back of the head, and his eye like pops out. <laughs> yeah. Boop. Uh, yeah. It's going to be so weird. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be really weird. <laughs> Super I intrigued. can't wait to see how yeah. shit it is. <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, but yeah, I think Seth's going to win. It's got to be Seth. Yeah, well, that makes sense, yeah. Seth and his cool new entrance theme, which I love. I do like it, yeah. It's, it does sound a lot like Bailey's, though, like the beginning. Yeah, they seem to like that. I've got it here, actually. They seem to like the, uh, the hymn music at the start. Like the... Aww. I've got... I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you. Because so, you've got Johnny Gargano's as well, which is very similar at the start. Yeah. I've got his I've got Spotify after he says it like this. That's it. Yes. And you got Johnny Gargano, which is this. Oh. I don't mean Johnny Gargano, do I? Hold on. Yeah, Johnny Gargano. Oh, there goes, yeah. One, there it is. As well. There it is. Oh. I think it was someone else. Uh, but yeah, so you've got that and you've got Bailey's as well. Um, there's a lot, lot, of, lot of him. I like it though. Dear WWE, don't pull our podcast down. <laughs> Please don't. It's only for a few seconds. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, but no, I like it. I like. I like. Yeah. Yeah, I like it's, it. Too. it I enjoy them. the character as well. Hmm. It suits him. I like it. I seem yeah. I like it a lot, but I do. Got to like it. Thanks. Just not liking it a lot. <laughs> this is just just um, like you love two big men going at it. Exactly. Exactly. Same thing. <laughs> exactly the same thing. <laughs> um. So you you're going for Seth to win, yeah? Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for Seth to win as well because then I think like they'll have Dominic Mysterio, not his real surname, it's not. Um, oh. like versus Seth maybe down the line. Yeah, because you got to think Dominic's going to because you know he's training to be a wrestler. Yeah, obviously because he keeps taking bumps and things. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's, how long it's going to be until he actually debuts. Or which way does he go now? Well, yeah. I, to be honest, I think it was you know due to happen a while ago. Oh yeah, 
But I think Ray maybe got injured and then that sort of halted it a bit. Mm. Or he got suspended, one of the two, maybe both. Oh, yeah, he did get that, didn't he? Yeah, because oh. he got done for the wellness policy, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it could be. I'll let um, him know. Don't cause it. Which way it goes. Yeah, so I'm going to go for Seth as well, definitely. Cool. Good stuff. Um, then we have uh, Bailey oh, versus Nikki Cross oh. for the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't really see any way that Bailey loses. I mean, that, the momentum is well and truly on Sasha and Bailey's side at the minute. Definitely. Um, everything they do is gold right now. Bailey has just embraced this heel character and made it way better than I ever thought she would do. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, at, at first, it was like you could tell she wasn't super comfortable comfortable in the role yet. Yeah. And the longer it goes, the better she gets. And uh, yeah, it's so good right now. Yeah, she's brilliant. Really, really good. And, uh, you know, they really are sort of MVPs at the minute. Not Montel Montel's <laughs> Porter, but, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's very cool. Uh, but yeah, um, Bailey's definitely going to win. He's not going to lose to Nikki Gross. Um, I like Nikki. She's a great character. But uh, yeah, she's not going to win. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, no. It's going to be Sasha Banks, isn't it? You take it off her. I th- um, yes, I think so. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe it's SummerSlam, but that won't be too soon because they're still going strong. Maybe you wait until a Survivor Series. Who knows? I think wait yeah. until crowds are back. Yeah. Because I think it deserves the crowd. They they deserve that. Because because they have done so well and because, you know, the, the work that they've been putting in has just been, you know, easily their career best work. Mm. Uh, I think they deserve... Uh, the crowd for not only whichever one turns on the other, but the actual match as well. I think save it for WrestleMania next year. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. I'd save be it long... for the big stage, build it. Yeah, a bit long, uh, long title reign, but you know, well deserved. Oh, so it's a long way away, but um, you know, why not? Long title yeah. reigns are fine. Becky had it for ages. Yeah, true. And if Becky's okay going to continue to be, you know, incredibly entertaining every week. And I think they might give Sasha the Raw Women's Championship at some point. Not yet, mm. but at some point. And, you know, if they just keep the two of them with high momentum, then that would make uh, the match itself just feel way bigger. Yeah, I agree. That'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. Big time. I think it could be WrestleMania main event. Yeah. Yeah, they make it that, that big. They, they could make it that big. Yeah, like, yeah, I can definitely see that happening. But you think you think it's gonna be the heel in that? Do you think Bailey's gonna stick heel or, and Sasha turns face, or do you think Bailey goes face and Sasha heel? Uh, mm. uh, um, I think Sasha goes face. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, that's thought of what's yeah, been. I think I think Sasha goes face. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, go on, Bailey. There she is. <laughs> Boy, music. Uh, oh, yeah, Bailey's going to win. Um, cool. Uh, so we have uh, Asuka versus Sasha Banks for the War Women's Championship. See, now this is an interesting one. Um, you know, I, like I said, I think Sasha will win the Raw Women's Championship eventually. Mm. I just don't see it being now. Although, if they were going to put the belt on Sasha now, you know, whilst momentum is sky high, it would be a good time you, to do you, it. I mean, they could do it. I just don't think they will. Uh, Yet. Yeah, I hope not. But I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Like, it would be cool if they did, because it would make, you know, make Bailey and Sasha that much more entertaining. But yes. at the same time, Asuka needs to look stronger. Because at the minute, her title reign hasn't, title reign hasn't been super amazing. Uh, she lost, lost it to Charlotte twice. Um, and, you know, she's not looked super strong. Not as strong as she should have been. I hope she keeps up a lot while longer yet. Yeah, I mean the other thing is obviously Kairi Sane's going, mm. um, and the you know what I think they could do is Kairi Sane could cost Oscar the championship and build towards Oscar versus Kairi at SummerSlam, which will then be Kairi's final match. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. So it's it's a difficult one because on one hand I don't want Oscar to lose. But on the other hand, I would like Sasha to win. Mm. Tough one. Um, but I'm going to say Oscar. I'm going to say Oscar for now. Yeah, me too. Because, yeah, it'll be too soon. I want Asuka to keep doing well. I agree. Me too. Cool. Uh, then we have uh, Drew McIntyre versus Dolph Ziggler for the WWE Championship. 
Yeah, no way does uh, Dolph Ziggler win. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's obviously obviously not going to be uh, Ziggler. It's not like Ziggler. I'm sure, as much as the, the match is going to be really good, no doubt, because you know they're both I great. I think it will be as well. Um, uh, Penny, for your thoughts on Heath Slater's return last week? What did oh, you think really of good. That? I like him a lot. Um, mm. It's a really cool segment. It's a shame to see him go, um, especially after that. <laughs> it's the best best like promo of his life, and it's going to go. Yeah, it's a shame. But you know, he come um, back. He looked jacked. Mm, was great. But the thing is. And this is this is the problem that I've got, right? Now, a lot of people were impressed by Heath Slater, but how many times have you been able to say that in the last few years? Yeah, it's true. But at the same time, he doesn't really get much of an opportunity. He's just there to be a jobber. And... But, but the thing is, you know, he's not putting himself out there. Hmm. Work harder, get better positions. I think he's even come out and said himself that he was lazy. Yeah. You know, and he could have done more, probably. But he's come back now, he looks jacked. He's probably going to impact, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if he'd have just worked that bit harder, knowing that, you know, he has got this in his arsenal, you know, he Slater could have been a, you know, a much bigger factor on in WWE programming. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. But, you know, um, but hey, uh, Drew and Jinder both got sacked and came back super jacked. Okay, so I won the WWE Championship, so who knows? He could be back. True. Maybe there is hope for, for Heath in the future. Yeah, who knows? I think this was definitely one and done in terms of appearances now. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I think, um, you know, the, I'm sure the door's always open. Hmm. You'll be good to see him back, because obviously, yeah, as you said, it's a really, really cool promo, and he did look amazing. Um, I think some of the released are going to roll up on uh, Impact this weekend on their pay-per-view. Oh, uh, yeah, I think Gallows and Anderson are rumoured as well. I think that's uh, I think that's nailed on. Oh, yeah. I think they've signed to Impact um, oh, cool. with some sort of deal that allows them to wrestle in New Japan when travel restrictions are lifted. Mm, very cool. Good stuff. Uh, uh, and I think, but I think Zack Ryder could go there. I think Heath Slater might go there. I think Woo-woo-woo. Bennett will go back. Uh, EC3. I think a few of them will turn up this weekend at uh, Slammiversary. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be a good watch. I might tune into that. It would be a good watch, actually. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Uh, and then we have the main event, the horror show, from Extreme Rules horror show. Um, we have Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt in their swamp fight. The Wyatt swamp fight. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, this should be this should be good fun. Yeah. But I, what I, what I think this does is it kills that Bray Wyatt character forever. Yeah, I think so. So we never we never see the Hawaiian shirt, um, like Trilby hat wearing Bray Wyatt ever again after this. I think that's Braun killing that version of Bray Wyatt. Yeah, that makes sense. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool to see him bring back, like, original, um, like, Bray Wyatt classic. Yeah. <laughs> OG Bray. Um, OG Bray. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think after this, that'll be, you know, the counter over and done. Um, but, yeah, I think Braun's going to retain for now. I think he's going to retain for now. Yeah, he's been champion for a hundred days today. Really? Jesus, that flew yeah. by. Yeah, I know that's gone super quick. But yeah. but that's how long we've been in lockdown. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, longer than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I think Braun will retain. Uh, I think it'll be a very entertaining cinematic match, which is obviously what it's going to be. Mm. Um, this is only the end for this Bray Wyatt character. I do think that it will be the Fiend that will take it off Braun Strowman. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because, you know, whilst Bray Wyatt can continue to, you know, play these different roles, you know, it, it, it keeps the the feud interesting. Mm. So like, oh, okay, you've killed this version of Bray Wyatt, but this version of Bray Wyatt's still there. Yes. So, Maybe. you know, there's a lot of different things that you could potentially do with it to keep it going, especially while you are sort of lacking in, um, lacking in main roster talent due to, you know, the, the outbreak and stuff. So while you're limited, you know you can you can make these feuds go on for just that little bit longer. Mm. Maybe next time we'll bring out Eski Harris and we uh, swim with Eski Harris for the yeah. uh, <laughs> championship match. Um, yeah, and what they'll do is they'll have loads of segments of Braun smashing Ferraris up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the last one before the pay per view will be him like throwing a tank or something. Yeah, throwing a tank at a, at a Ferrari. Yeah, absolutely that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. so yeah Braun retains yeah definitely I think we'll have the same predictions this week can we 
pretty much, yeah. So no, no one's going to lose. Uh, yeah, no one's going to lose the title. Um, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a fun, fun pay per view. I think it'll be a fun show. Yeah, definitely. I think there'll be an awful lot of talking points coming out of it. Mm. Can't wait to see um, an eye match. It's going to be so stupid. I can't wait for the meltdown. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so weird. I can't wait to see what they're doing, what they're doing with it. <laughs> I know. I can't wait either. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Awesome in a bad way. I can't like so much so I can't wait to talk about it next Monday. <laughs> yeah, awesomely stupid. But awesome at the same time. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'm wait. off next Monday, actually. So when we've watched Extreme Rules, we'll record early. Nice. And uh like laugh at Ray Mysterio's eye falling yeah. out of his face. Yeah. We can watch it live. We can do it watch live ever. Oh, that's a good point actually, yeah. yeah. We could do that. We could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sound good to me. Yeah, that sounds very good to me. Uh, quick one before we go. Thoughts on Keith Lee being the double champion? Awesome. Uh, but anyone deserves to be double champion is definitely Keith Lee. Um, super talented guy. So much charisma. Um, he's got, got a big future ahead of him. Yep. Um, do what you happened, th- what's next for Adam Cole? Um, well, there's rumoured that him and Undisputed Era have been called up, but some members are less uh, inclined to go just because of the virus and things. So okay. hmm, maybe Adam Cole will come up by himself for a while and then eventually... Who was joined by the rest of Undisputed Era? Well, I think Kyle O'Reilly's been off for that exact reason. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Because uh, um, as far as I can remember, I've only seen the three of them on TV. Mm. So uh, Bobby Fish, Kyle, O'Re- uh, sorry, yeah, Bobby Fish, Roderick Strong, and Adam Cole. Yeah, kind of wasn't like a in that uh, segment with Roderick Strong being like the um, uh, what the hell do they call it? Like a therapist trying to get him. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> so he's there. He's doing the cinematic stuff, but. Uh, yeah, so I think yeah. he's. I think he has a, like some sort of condition that makes him sort of a bit more susceptible to it. Ah, that makes sense, uh, and know. that's the reason he's not there. Yeah, so yeah, I reckon Adam Cole by himself for a little while, and then eventually he'll be joined by the other three. And like, haha, now we've got a faction. Screw you guys. I'm going to be champ for five hundred days. I hope so. Mm, I love that. I just hope he's used right. A lot of people are, you know, pretty negative on what they might do with Adam Cole, but. Um, I don't think Triple H will actually let um, them balls it up because I hope not. they Adam Cole's one of the biggest, one of the best talents in the entire world, not just in WWE. Yeah, I agree. Um, and they won't want to lose him to the rival company that his girlfriend works for. So <laughs> yeah. they'll they'll have to treat him right. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah uh, quick prediction it. for SmackDown on Friday: um, AJ Styles defending the IC title against Matt Riddle. Uh, yeah. Who wins? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. AJ Styles hadn't had it for long. But then again, Matt Riddle has got a lot of momentum behind him. Uh-huh. Uh, I think Baron Corbin costs Matt Riddle the belt. And then that's sense. probably going to be a match at Extreme Rules. Ah, that makes sense. I'm going to go with Matt that. Riddle will win. Yeah. Or maybe like a triple threat between them and AJ. I think they'll get the uh, the one-on-one match out of the way first. Yeah. That so they'll sense. get Riddle and Baron Corbin together in a match. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'll be okay with that. Uh, no doubt it'll be a good match. Because they're both amazing. I can't wait to see none of our predictions unfold. <laughs> yeah. So everyone everyone will lose a belt. Uh, Dolph Ziggler will be a new WWE champion. Um, <laughs> if Dolph Ziggler's a new WWE champion, there won't be a podcast next week. <laughs> we'll just quit. That's what we've done. <laughs> yep. No uh, more podcasts. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, it should be a pretty interesting week in wrestling. Um, big time. Yes, and we will be releasing another podcast next Monday. Mm-hmm. It's a week. Um, and like I said, uh, the podcast is going to be our sole and main focus uh, going forward, uh, at least for the meantime. Yes, definitely. So, uh, yeah, podcast every week. Whoop. Whoop. We're getting better. We are. We're getting there. We're doing it. Uh, you know, I think we should good. have a round of applause for ourselves. We should. I'm coming Monday. It's all about that one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It's a shame we like we haven't got like a little crowd like like silhouettes of people clapping like, <laughs> yeah. on SmackDown. This is, this is. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Excellent. Um, right, yeah. So uh, this has been the Games and Grats podcast. We are an almost weekly, but soon to be weekly, video game and wrestling podcast that posts across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. I'm Sunny. I'm Ben. And we will speak to you next week. Enjoy Extreme Rules. We'll see you then. Goodbye, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye.